I get down on the ground to show you these tiny little sweet mushrooms. Look at how tiny those are. They are so tiny. This is my finger. Oh, the dog is trying to get involved. <laughs> are you trying to get involved? Are you trying to get involved? You're so sweet. But these mushrooms are so sweet. Look at that. Oh, I'm being licked. I am being overloved by my puppy. Look at that. Tiny, tiny mushrooms. You are overloving. Inca's like going, what are you looking at? What's so interesting? Is there some insect or something I should be looking at? Hmm? Anyway, those are so tiny and beautiful and delicate. Everything in the environment should be admired. Isn't that right? Don't bump into my hands when I'm filming because then it gets people's eyes going crazy on the other end of the receiving end so they can't see. Look, at they're just dots, tiny white dots. Oh dear, what happened? One of the lambs fell funny. Oh, she's okay. She wouldn't get up for a moment there, so I was worried about her. Hey you. I'm gonna get this out of the way. Uh. Oh. Leave it, Brindle. Okay. That job done. On to the next. Look at all the swallows gathering. They're very chatty birds. Those would be all the babies. The parents are out collecting insects. Very chatty birds. And they're cross at him. The parents are. <laughs> Good girl. So putting in a new post for laundry. The puppies are being very helpful, protecting the new laundry line box. Isn't that right? Isn't that right? So this is the other half of the laundry line and I'm collecting stones, having dug the hole. I mean, I didn't dig the hole. I'm having help and balancing that because it's a two-person job. 
This month's being mixed at the moment. And I'm just, I'm picking stones. A very old, ancient Irish tradition. Stone picking. Picking stones. There you go, picking stones. There, bucket full of stones. So, finishing touches is trying to make this so that the water runs off down the slope because you don't want it. I've already done the levels so it's square but you want it so the water runs down into the ground not down into the timber. It'll make it last longer. At least that's the hope. So Funny how you pat cement and it all gets more liquid. Okay, enough of me playing. The next load is coming for the next stake. Oh, videoing insects, pollinators, and the cat jumps on my back. Ow. Claws. Painful. Very painful. Bad cat. I have butterflies around. Whoop. Oh, it flew away. Never mind. I'm fencing here. This is a uh, fencing off. This is going to be a gateway because I need access to this water tank when the mains freeze. So this is the area we're fencing off and we're going to plant a bunch of trees in here. This tree I planted this spring. I can't remember what it's called. I'm being stupid, I can't remember. Anyway, this is what some of the fleeces are here keeping the tree uh, weed suppressed around it. So I can take this away from it because I was protecting it from sheep um, grazing it. You can see the sheep managed to reach the twigs that were out from it. But otherwise, it's pretty good. So yeah, this is what I've been doing today getting ready to plant trees, my fencing bucket. And we're gonna hammer these in. 
and plant the a lot of the trees that I grew from seeds. We're going to put oaks and hollies and spindle and rowans and a um, couple of other trees in or a good few other trees in here. So this is the root I have to do. So I have to keep this root open. Gate there and a gate there. You can see where the fence, roll the fences and Inca so that I can drive through when the mains are frozen. So, isn't that right? You helping. So I can drive up around here with the quad and the trailer, which are under here. Dogs, some of the dogs are in the shade there. And so I'll drive through here, around there to park parallel with that water tank. And these stakes should last about 15 years. I'm only expecting this to last 15 years. And then the trees will have grown tall enough that the sheep can go in and graze under them. And the only reason we can do it is this huge beech tree's sister tree was right there. And it blew down, or right there, and it blew down in one of our huge storms. But look at all the holly is doing so well. Those are all holly trees all the way along there. So I'm gonna plant a few extra hollies in here as well. So making this little area a real good biodiverse tree area. So that's what I'm at. And the dogs are all having a lovely time in the shade, aren't you? Yeah, look at you in the shade, a wiggler in the shade, yeah. Sitting, have a moment in the shade. Well, I've been fencing in the sun. Nearly there, nearly there. Not used to the heat when we've been in the shade and the cool for most of the summer. None of us are, all the dogs are <laughs> hanging out in the shade. Isn't that right? Isn't that right, Maya? Yeah, you coming out? There we go. Yeah. Okay. And go back to doing some fencing. You're not moving yet. Come on, dogs. Maya, come on. Inca. The dogs are stuck. Those three are stuck at the back end. Come on, Java. Inca, come on. Let the dogs through. Go on. Go on. <laughs> Come on, Inca. Out of girl. Come on. <laughs> Woo. Wrong way. Come on. There we go. They're moving them. Come here. Java, Inca, Maya. Come on. Come on. Good dogs. Better dogs, good pups. You guys are staying there, you can graze the laneway. Still plenty of food up there. <laughs> They're all coming down now. Oh, I've got to treat you. A lovely sunny day. Oh. I say that and the sun goes behind a cloud. This little area of the garden is four years in the making and I am so thrilled with how it has turned out. The rock roses, black eyed Susans, um, limelight. Look at the uh, agapanthus, I love agapanthus. Look at this. Oh, I'm so pleased with how this is turning out. And I love, I got this recently, this is called Grumpy. And I love that I got some Grumpy. And it's just looking fabulous. I'm so pleased. And this all, how it's turned out with the sun on it. And this is great. I'm thrilled with this.